Okay, so I'm gonna go back into the source code and to save ourselves a bit of time. What we can do is we can copy all of the um, the HTML markup we just made there and we can paste it. So I'm gonna highlight the whole thing, press Control C, and then I'm gonna copy and paste it about five times below. So Control V to paste it, or you can right click on your mouse and paste it in that way. Okay, so I've just pressed refresh and you can see that I've got some more items there and all we need to do is change the link items to different things from products, obviously. But let's check the effect in a browser and you can see that it rolls over and it, it will hover just fine there. It looks really good. Okay, so we know that it's working and all of the hover effects will show on the command. Okay, so let's go back into the CSS styles now. And what we're going to do is style the base color for the horizontal menu and the list items. So I'm going to go into the pound nav menu li and I'm going to type background colon and we're going to set it to pound 999 with a semicolon on the end. Okay, so that's going to style not only the horizontal menu but all of the hover um, list items as well. So let's preview that in Safari. And there you go. So we've got the base color in place. Uh, no rollover effects yet, but we're going to put those in in just a second. And we're also going to put in a border to separate all of the list items and the horizontal menu too. Okay, so I'm going to go into the pound menu UL LI A tag. So we're going to adjust the link tags and I want the color of the text of the link to be white. And I'm also going to set a border color. I'm going to set a border colon one pixel solid and we're going to make it black for the time being. Now we're going to change this border to white but I want to show you something in the styling because we added a one pixel border it will add the border on the outside of the links so the uh, positioning will be slightly out when we do the hover effect so if we just check that in the browser now Okay, so you'll see that the border's been attached to all of the link items now and around that display block property where it's 150 pixels and 30 pixels in height. Now you'll see it slightly out in the corners there by a pixel or two. So what we'll do is we can go back into the CSS and uh, where we've set the absolute position to a top of 30 pixels, we can either set that to 32 or 31 pixels. I'm going to go for 32 pixels because there's obviously a pixel on the top and a pixel on the bottom. And we'll preview that in uh, the browser as well. And you can see that it's fixed the problem now. It's now been adjusted and it's all sitting quite nicely. So bear that in mind next time you add a border to anything, it will always put the border on the outside edge. Um, so you need to account for that by one or two pixels. Okay, so I'm just going to draw a big comment line. So it's um, forward slash star star forward slash. And um, we're going to put in a nav menu li hover. Uh, and we're actually going to style the hover effects now. So this is a pseudo selector. I'm going to change the background color and press background colon pound 09 F and that will give us a blue color so this is the main horizontal menu the hover effect that takes place on that okay so you'll see in Safari that it's gonna add the hover effect which it will hold and it will also change all the link items to a blue hover as well okay but I would like the horizontal menu to stay blue and I want the link items to be a different color when we roll over the links so we'll make that change in the CSS now okay we're actually going to write quite a long pseudo selector now so um, here we go it's pound nav menu U L L I colon hover space U L L I A colon hover Okay, now it's quite a, quite a mouthful there, but this is actually going to change the hover effects of those links and keep the other hover effects in place. So I'm going to type in background colon and pound ccc for the background color of the hover effect, and I'm going to change the text color to black. Okay, so let's preview that in Safari now. Um, it was quite a long selector we made there, but it's well worth doing it and experimenting because now we've got a rollover effect that stays blue on the hover and then changes color for the link items. So the hover effect is a lighter gray as opposed to the same blue uh, that you had with the main horizontal list item. Okay, so there's one more effect I want to do and that's to change the hover color for the links in the main horizontal where it says products as you can see horizontally along the list now. Okay, now I'm going to set an easy one which is pound nav menu A 
colon hover so it's a pseudo selector for the hover of the link and i'm change the color to black so it will be black uh, as we hover over it and then as we go down to list items they it will change back to white so let's preview that in uh, safari now okay so here's the link showing up as white i'll press refresh and there you go, it shows up as a black color. But when we roll over onto the, um, the list items, it changes back to white. Okay, I think that's a really good effect. Okay, let's go back into the CSS styles. And uh, what we'll do is we're gonna change the border to white now. It was black, but we're gonna change it to white. So pound nav menu, ULLIA, change that to pound FFF. That's good. Okay, and we're going to add a text shadow as well. So we're going to just make the text jump out a little bit on the links. So I'm going to type text dash shadow colon. I'm going to set the text shadow to one pixel, one pixel on the horizontal and vertical, one pixel blur radius, and the color of black. Okay, so I'll just preview that in Safari. Click to save the changes. And there you go. A really nice looking menu. Some really good hover effects there different hover effects as well, different color changes. Looks really, really good. Okay, now we've finished the menu, um, what we need to do is, um, earlier on we floated the list items to the left. Well, we need to contain the float. So if I click on the div ID wrapper, you'll see that the element is there, the, um, the wrapper div is there, it's collapsed. So we need to contain the float so it wraps around the whole of the nav menu. So I'm gonna go down to the bottom, and just before the end of the nav menu div, I'm going to create a class, a BR class equals, and I'm going to call it clear float with a capital F. Okay, now I'm going to go back into the CSS and I'm going to create a class for the um, clear float class. And I'm going to type dot clear float and I'm going to set it to clear both. So it's going to clear on the left and it's going to clear on the right also. While I'm there, I'm also going to set the margins to zero and I'm also going to set the padding attributes to zero as well. And uh, we'll just click refresh and then we'll click back on the um, wrapper div and you'll see that it now encompasses the whole of the nav menu. Okay, that's the tutorial finished. Um, all I'm going to do is change all of the names on the horizontal menu now, add different list menu items and then I'll preview it back in the browser. So I'm just going to pause it while I do that. Okay, so here's the finished drop down menu. Smooth scrolling, quick loading, great effects, pure CSS rollovers. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. It's James from dreamweavertutorial.co.uk and I'll see you next time.